Welcome back to Blind Shark Exotics. I'm John, and today I just want to show you a quick video about um, an infertile egg, kind of what it looks like, and uh, what it looks like on the inside, and how to tell if it's kind of infertile. Um, I'm not going to take any good eggs out of the incubator to show you this, but we've seen it in a lot of videos, and every time I candle an egg, uh, there's usually like kind of like a, a little jelly mass on the top of the egg with a little black dot, which is where the embryo is. And then there's usually a ton of uh, blood vessels, veins, going wrapping around the top side of the egg wherever that embryo is attached. Now, I just had a second clutch drop from a, a Silver Streak, which is a Super Cinnamon Pastel, to uh, Danky King Jr. Basically, it's, it's another urban camo clutch. And she laid 10 eggs, and they all looked good to begin with because they all looked like they had some veins and they had a the little embryo on top. But it looks like two of them... Um, two of the embryos that really didn't even start to develop, and these are about a week old, this egg um, started to kind of become clear on the one side, and it's starting to develop a ton of mold, and as I candled it, there are basically no veins in it, it's kind of just like a big uh, bloody mass right in the top of the egg with no veins. So it's starting to go bad, and once I zoom in and show to you, I'll try to candle it a little bit too so you can see it, show you kind of what it looks like when it's not good anymore. Um, but then we'll cut it open and kind of show you what's actually inside of this thing. All right, now I just shut off my bigger light briefly to kind of show you what's going on in here. Um, so if you can see that there, there's sort of like a little bloody mass and kind of where the embryo would be. But as you can see, that egg has zero veins running through it. Um, you know, no veins on the bottom either. It's a completely clear egg. <clears throat> so maybe it had the start kind of the, the start of development of having veins in there um, but there is there's nothing nothing going on in here and as you can see you know this is what oh let me get up here Can't see that. this is what the you know normal egg looks like the normal color uh, the normal kind of um, kind of off-white eggshell with kind of no translucency to it. This whole egg looked like this when she laid it, and then it started developing into looking like this. Um, the whole top half of this egg and the front half of this egg is starting to become like extremely clear. Um, so, you know, it's, it's definitely bad. So, um, that spot with that little mass is right there. So I'm gonna cut this open. I don't think this is gonna smell because it wasn't, um, you know, in there too long, so I don't think it's that bad. The other big difference that I noticed with this one and the other one that's going bad in the good eggs is these are, uh, there's a lot of kind of pliability with them. The other ones are completely firm, like you can't even squish them at all. And this one is very, very, very squishy. Um, so I think that, you know, could be a little bit of a difference too if you're trying to tell the difference, but the, basically not having any veins in there kind of tells you what's going on inside this egg, so. Uh, this is just, just some some goo, some clear goo. When these start to go really bad, um, I've cut them open before. It's just completely curdled. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Um, so there actually was kind of like the beginnings of an embryo in there. <clears throat> Get that out of there. So this egg, I think was about a week old at this point. And so that bloody mass was this. This is what a kind of an embryo of a little tiny snake looks like. Uh, you can see its eye right there. You know, it's a tiny little, tiny little body in there but um you know this is basically what was all inside of that egg that's the whole the whole shebang right there so um <clears throat> for whatever reason it looks like this just died really early on in the process i don't know how well that's gonna focus on that because it's so tiny so close and so tiny maybe i'll bring it back here i'll focus a little better but yeah i mean that's kind of what a snake embryo looks like um i've never actually 
cut one open like this before and actually had it developed. Usually when they're bad, they're just bad, bad, and nothing starts at all. You know, for whatever reason, this one kind of developed. It looks like a couple days, and then the egg just went bad by itself. But that's what the little embryo of a snake looks like. I mean, it, it definitely has the shape of the snake. Um, you know, there's the tail back here and the whole body, and this is get it stretched out a little bit. You know, you can see the eye there. There's if I flip it over, I can't. It's pretty much like kind of like jelly. Um, but there's a little eye in there. Um, so, I mean, that's what it looks like, and that's kind of all the albumin and the yolk or whatever it is. And um, like I said, usually when these go bad and you leave them in there too long, the whole inside of this, instead of it being kind of like jelly-like, it's just like a solid, like curdled, curdled mass. This is kind of at least not, and it's not stinky yet either. So, but yeah, that's what it, that's what an embryo looks like. Um, in case you were ever curious. Kind of like a little science experiment there, so that's uh, that's that. Hopefully the rest of that clutch is okay. I'm actually leaving the other egg in there for the time being, just to see what happens with it, because it isn't getting moldy yet and it isn't becoming transparent. So hopefully it's okay. Um, but I just thought this was a good time to kind of show you guys what goes on inside of an egg. So thank you guys for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.